The seabed was rising and the water was lightening. It wasn't long before we could hear the boom of surf above on the reefs. I guided them through the passages and we surfaced. Fractured moonlight on the water was the only signs of the reef on the surface, part of the island's curse. Amid all the contrasts, this remained unchanged. Welcome to the Hoopman Abrolis Islands, girls. They may be cursed, but for a time they will also be home. Serena and her daughters Maria and Belinda have their first glimpse of the Hoopman Abrolis Islands from underwater, of course, so it's a very different view to approaching by air or sea. 122 islands form the shallow coral reefs that are some of the furthest from the equator anywhere in the world. The Hoopman Abrolis Islands are more than 60 kilometres off the coast of Western Australia, so you don't often see them from the mainland. Home to millions of seabirds and some amazing fish, as well as land species found nowhere else in the world, the Girls of the Ocean's Gift picked a pretty special place to come ashore. Of course, the islands are cursed. From the first European explorers to visit them, Frederick de Hoopman, Deeming ourselves to be in an open sea, we unexpectedly came upon a low-lying coast, a level, broken country with reefs all around it. We saw no high land or mainland, so this shoal is to be carefully avoided as very dangerous to ships that wish to touch at this coast. To present day Joe Fisher and his pilot tour guide, the Abrolis is cursed with murder, mutiny and lust. But just how cursed they are? Ah, now that's part of the secrets of the ocean's gift. <laughs>